Hello everyone, it's Jay again from KDS and it's time for an update on this Tesla Model 3. So, who remembers all those bits of blue tape from yesterday's video? This car had a number of things wrong with it and each one of these bits of tape represents one of the defects that I've removed whilst I've been going around machine polishing away the sanding marks fine scratches and other minor sort of surface maladies that this car had. So yesterday you might recall, if I get the light ready, there was a little sandy mark around here. There were dozens to choose from quite frankly. Uh, they're all gone. Great news, happy days, the car is lovely and shiny, right? Well, it is, but we're not finished. So polishing cars involves more than just going around it once and removing swirls and scratches because even though it looks pretty shiny, at this point, let's look closely. And that's what this piece of blue tape is for. Hopefully, it's gonna help my camera focus on the surface. There we go. Now I'm gonna move the light bulb around. You can see some sort of fuzzy, swirly imperfections, very, very super fine marring on the surface of the car. And that's because the aggressive, me aggressive method of polishing that I need to use to remove those initial sanding marks and swirls and so on, doesn't quite get the car to a level of gloss and perfection that we would call finish. And at this point, those geeky ones in the know, uh, the car has been properly uh, decontaminated. There's no silicones, fillers, or anything else in there to hide what's going on. And I'm about to demonstrate the difference between rough cut, which is where the car is now, where it's been corrected but not refined, and then the finished article. So, I will cut this in about five seconds so you can see the difference. I'm going to re refine the right hand side about now. So there we go. Now, I don't know where in the world you're from, but where I come from, we call that a pretty good result. The left hand side is still, of course, sort of fuzzy looking and marred from the aggressive polishing stage, which we needed to go through to get rid of the swirls and scratches and sanding marks. The right hand side now has been refined and uh, yes, I have used a strong solvent to remove any uh, fillers or silicone. This is the true bare naked, surgically clean paint finish. Um, and the first time you get to see a representative example of how the car is gonna look at the end of the process. This is why we need to do more than one stage of polishing on a car like this, because you have to be aggressive in the first place and you have to refine it afterwards. The first stage isn't going to do what the second stage does, and the second stage won't remove all the defects that the first stage did. I do now have to get on and polish the rest of the car, and the next video you'll see will be one where we've got the whole thing finished. From KDS this morning, that's Jay over and out.